Hello Cupcakes and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how I got the Canon Rebel T1i. This is a older series of the Canon Rebels. Just let me show the camera really quick. Yeah, I do have a screen protector on this by the way if you was curious. Okay, now I'm going to be talking about the camera and how I got it and everything. So me and my best friend here on YouTube, her name is Ada B. Chillin. Please feel free to check out her channel. We went to a local pawn shop at my house where I live and everything. And we was just walking around and we seen this camera and she looked at it too and I, I was afraid she was going to buy it um, because at the time I didn't have the money. And I really like this camera and everything. The guy let me, like, look at it, test the settings, you know, and everything. And take a couple pictures with it. And I didn't have the money at the time. And I just said, you know, just out of curiosity, I said, how much would you take for that Canon Rebel right now? He said, well, right now, I'll take 200 for it. Exactly. I said, okay, I said, I can't do that at the moment. So, he, I give it back to him and everything, and he put it back in the case and locked it. And he, he kind of, like, was talking to me a little bit, but he was walking away at the same time because he had to help another customer. So, after that, we left, and we went to the Goodwill and everything, you know. And I kept thinking about this camera. I kept, just kept thinking about it. How bad I wanted it for my photography. Because I had like the point and shoot. Um, Canon something. It was something Canon point and shoot. I had that camera for a long time. Many years actually. And the camera the camera quality was starting to go. Like really bad on it. Um, the sound. When you would zoom in. To take a video. It would have like this. Grinding beeping sound kinda so after we went to the Goodwill and everything I come back and I told my husband I said there's a Canon Rebel at the pawn shop I want it so bad he goes we'll wait for at least four days and we'll go back and get it I said okay so we waited four days exactly the fourth day that morning we went back to the pawn shop and this time I had cash in hand. And I was walking around and I just asked him, I said, how much for that Canon Rebel? Like that. And he goes, well, I originally wanted 200. But since it's been here for about a week or so, it's a bigger camera. It, and it had an extra lens and everything with it. And a big, huge... Um, camera bag I mean it's huge he goes just because I don't have room for it he goes I will do $175 on sale I said okay even though I had the money in my pocket and everything I said I'd wait you know I didn't tell him that but I was like well okay I said I might have to come back or something you know just something like that so I started looking around more and as we was leaving, getting ready to walk out the door, the guy goes, if you really want that camera and you'll take it out the door today and promise me you won't pawn it or, or sell it or anything like that, he goes, I'll sell it to you for $159, I think it was. So it was a huge still for this camera and the lens and the battery charger and everything and nothing was wrong with this camera nothing there's not a scratch there's not it's not busted it's perfect condition one piece so we jumped on it right away $159 for a camera a lens battery case so I waited for a couple of years for these to go on sale 
this one is the actual Canon battery, so this one came with the camera. But I got three of these. Here's the name brand. They actually work exactly like the Canon battery. Same shape, same everything, except this one's just the darker gray, this one's a lighter gray. But other than that, they're the same. Do the same thing. I got these for $18, and I got 30 plus a car charger. So I thought that wasn't a bad idea. And now, I, ever since I got this camera, I do photography on the sides. I do wedding photos, prom photos. Um, I mainly do it for like, um, for free basically, uh, because kids, I do it actually for free because there is kids out there that want prom, prom pictures and they can't afford them because some photographers around my area is really expensive. So I do it free and, you know, I give them the only thing that I, if they want to do it, you know, so it's better and easier that way. They just buy the memory card. I put it in my camera. I take pictures of them. Uh, as soon as the the shoot's over, I just give the little memory card back to them, and that's it. Um, and I edit them and everything for them. Um, when they upload them on the computer, I edit them, give it to them, and that's how I do my photography. But I don't want to do it as a job for the fact that I'm afraid I may not like it as much if it would be a regular job on a daily basis, you know. Um, so I do it as a hobby. That's why I do it for free because I don't want to get overwhelmed with it and not like it anymore. But that's it for this video and sorry the lighting had just went away um, dramatically but uh, like I said feel free to give it a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button down below for more videos okay bye